नमस्कार वेरी वॉम ग्रीटिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोटर इमेजरी मोटर इमेजरी इज वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी प्रॉमिसिंग टूल्स इन यूर रिहेबिलिटेशन एंड इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स नोसेज बिफोर यू अंडरटेक एनी सच प्रोग्राम सो आज हम लोग जानेंगे कि मोटर इमेजरी एग्जैक्टली क्या होता है किसी भी प्रोग्राम को करने से पहले बहुत जरूरी होता है कि आप अंडरस्टैंड करें व्हाट इट टेक्स एंड हाउ डज दैट प्रोग्राम हैपेंस ओके सो इफ यू रिमेम्बर लास्ट ईयर वी हैव लॉन्च द फर्स्ट ऑनलाइन फिजिकल रिहेबिलिटेशन प्रोग्राम व्हिच वाज बेस्ड ऑन पिलाटिस टू इंप्रूव द मोटर एबिलिटीज इन आवर मल्टीपल स्क्लेरोसिस पेशेंट्स हाउएवर in that particular program we had to exclude lot of our patients because they could not qualify our inclusion criteria because of their inability to walk for at least 6 minutes however if we look retrospectively what happened last year what we did was we enrolled the patient and gave them a graded exercise program for 6 weeks every week twice thrice a week you used to get your exercise and you learn the exercise and based on those exercise you perform those things and once you perform the exercise you sent us the videos back which were carefully reviewed and then you were given the feedback and how to further uh, improvise upon your exercise so that was our key feature for 2021 however if you summarize for 2021 you used to see the exercise and learn the exercise and perform the exercise we going to perform, do on a similar lines in this year program however the only difference would be you going to imagine the exercise that's right to remove the bias of your physical abilities which may interfere with the exercise program this year we are going to imagine the exercise we are not going to physically perform the exercise so if you see the world of imagination that's one of the most 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 beautiful world while sitting anywhere you can imagine maybe going in a pool with your children or doing some creative activity or maybe even performing some exercise so if we see the domain of imagination is not restricted why because it is based on a very very important tool which is our memory and what is the memory based on memory is based on the experiences of life so if we see the world of imagination if you think how a child is able to draw a figure of a tree through their imagination it is because they have gone through books or maybe they have seen videos or there is something something audio visual thing which has added to their memory and when needed they are able to take out those things from their memory and do something okay so very simple concept for this exercise program i would say just stay dream just dream 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 about being physically fit <clears throat> dream about being totally active dream about that you are not having any physical restrictions dream about the way you were before any kind of neurological deficit struck you right so if you dream well your brain is going to use the memory and those memories will help you they will aid you in your imagination power and in short we will have more promising outcomes yes so do you want to have a stronger imagination yes i would say just go back go back to the memory lane go back to your previous videos go back to your previous photographs go back to your family go back to your friends talk to them ask them how you were how your life was all about how you used to navigate how you used to go about the things so all these things are going to add up to your experience zone and these experience zone will going to add up in your memory zone and the better your memory is that is going to draw inputs for your imagination so aap jitna apne beete din when you were physically absolutely fit आप जितना अपने पीछे जा सकते हैं जिस जिस भी माध्यम से आपकी फोटोग्राफ्स आपकी वीडियोस या अपने किसी प्रियजन से बात करके जितना आप अपनी पास लाइफ के ऊपर निकाल सकते हैं चीजें आपकी एबिलिटीज के बारे में उन सब की एक मेमोरी संजो के रखिए जितनी स्ट्रांग आपकी मेमोरी होगी उतनी स्ट्रांग आपकी उस एक्शन का इमेजिनेशन होगा एंड दैट इज बीन विन सिचुएशन फॉर आस यस हमारा टारगेट क्या है we are aiming to improve our physical abilities so kyun na un beete dino ko yaad kare when we were physically absolutely fine right 
So in short, what is motor imagery? It is a cognitive process. When I say the word cognitive, that means it's a lot of brain ka neural networks, a lot of brain ke areas involved hai, in which the subject imagines he or she is performing the movement. But there are very two important parts without actually performing the movement and without even tensing the muscle. So you are not going to tense the muscle. You are not going to imagine. Uh, perform the movement, but you are just going to imagine. You have to just stay relaxed and you have to imagine the movement which will be taught to you in a graded manner. So there are two types of motor imagery. I'm sure if you have undergone my previous program, you would understand this concept very easily. One is the visual motor imagery and other is the kinesthetic. Visual means khud ko sirf dekhna koi cheez karte hue. Kinesthetic, khud ko dekhna and feel karna. When I talk about visual, you have to just imagine yourself to be there and doing the movement. When I say kinesthetic, you have to not only imagine yourself to be there and performing the movement, but also you're going to feel your muscle action. You're going to feel your joints. You're going to feel the complete movement to get the desired effect. All right? So let's see this more clearly. When I talk about visual motor imagery, it's an ability to imagine seeing oneself performing the movement. I'm sure if you would have done my previous year's exercise program, you can relate to this one. Aap sirf imagine kare khud ko same exercise ball ke saath perform karte. Right? So that is our visual motor imagery. And when I talk about the kinesthetic part, it is similar to the real movement. You have to feel the muscle contraction. You have to feel the sensations. Jo aapko feel hoga, wo action karte ho. So it is all about feeling the movement. Okay. So again, with the help of the video, I like to explain this concept. So you are going to feel the muscle involved and their action. What is it that you make a strong imagination, a strong memory of all the steps which have been involved in performing this movement. So it is very, very important that you analyze ki kaise humne position kiya hai. how have we placed our foot, how have we rested our knee, where is the other knee going, how are we resting our back, where are our arms placed. So everything, everything needs to be analyzed beautifully then only you will have the feeling of that particular action. Okay, so this is the kinesthetic part where you have to feel the action. Moving on next. So if you ask me, does this really happen? All right, so I have a beautiful study which was published in 2021. I would not go into the details of all these figures, but yes, yeah, just give you an idea. Uh, they performed the study on which they collected EEG signals, the signals from the brain that we collect through surface electrodes, they collected that and they had pointed certain areas. As you can see the red dots, see that the certain areas where they wanted to study what happens when a person undergoes proper motor execution of the movement, that means performing the movement or the kinesthetic motor imagery, visual motor imagery or when they are just observing the movement. Then what they did, they highlighted the main regions of their interest and based on that, they did some alpha and beta analysis. We won't go into the details of that. But what is important is what they saw, can you see these red dots somewhere? It's a bigger red dot, somewhere it's smaller red dot. And then there are certain lines which are telling about the new circuits. They are thicker line, they are thinner line. And all four of them in the alpha and beta analysis, all four of them have different levels of networks that have been formed, different strength of networks that have been formed. So in short, the figure hame kya bata raha hai ki definitely motor imagery works. Motor imagery our functional brain networks ko or strong banata hai or humare results zada achhe aate hai. So that means motor imagery is a very, very powerful tool in getting our desired results and improving our and improving the structural organization of our brain. Okay. However, before you undertake any exercise program, it's imperative to take the permission to check with your therapist to get your mental imagery power checked so that you have a baseline values to it. 
See, without a baseline, we cannot decide upon whether the improvement is happening or not happening and why the improvement is not happening. So baseline evaluations are very, very, very important. And if we talk about the advantages, many studies have proved that it does improve the neural plasticity and the brain activation, which is similar to actually performing the movement. So that means if you have any kind of physical disability that can be easily overshadowed by your good daydreaming, by a very good imagination power, that's right. Okay, so when we talk about the training environment, when we train any patient for motor imagery, we have to consider two things, the physical factor of the patient, the environmental factor of the patient, the task that we are giving, the timing of the task, the learning power, the learning environment, the emotion, because emotion plays a very, very important role in our imagination power. So make sure whenever you are enrolling for any such uh, program, the time has to be selected in such a way that emotionally you are much strong, you are dedicated and you are quite focused on what you desire to do. So the perspective is also very important. So in short, keep experiencing, keep making memories, keep dreaming and keep wondering. Thank you so much and see you soon in our next motor imagery session. Goodbye.